Okay. Hello, my name's Claire Boycott. Um, I play for Central Sparks, Worcestershire Rapids, and my club team is Asselbank Cricket Club. Um, I'd love to know who it was that inspired you um, in cricket, so whether that's a female player or just an inspirational woman in your life, who was it that got you into playing? Well, I guess um, it's probably my mum. <laughs> she obviously, being married to my dad, he was a massive cricket badger. He played for 40 odd years and he was pretty good. Um, so obviously my mum would drag me along to games and get me playing. And then I eventually just obviously fell in love with the game and started playing alongside my dad in the Sunday second team for Acid Bank. And then it just progressed from there. I got into Worcestershire and then obviously Central Sparks last year. So yeah, yes, my mum, <laughs> she's put in a lot of work to help me get to where I am now. She's I couldn't drive until about three years ago. So she'd be trekking all around the country up to Durham, down to Devon to take me just to play a county game. And she then became our uh, official photographer for our Worcestershire games, which is great fun. All the girls love to love my mum and some snaps after the games, which is great laughs, some embarrassing ones as well. So, yeah, I'd have to say probably my mum um, as, a, as a role model, I guess, and then I remember first watching England women on Sky Sports, probably I was about 12. I remember seeing Catherine Brunt and I was like, right, I want to bowl like her. And then I, I did my best, I guess. <laughs> nice. And so obviously the theme for International Women's Day and um, Women's History Month is challenge to change. So I'd love to know what the thing is you're looking to challenge this year in cricket. Okay, so I guess... You, you follow me on Twitter, you've seen my tweets about trying to get people to stop moaning about the standard of women's cricket. I mean, every time there's a drop catch, Twitter is in uproar, moaning, quoting the tweets and saying how, how rubbish these women are, how are they playing at the international level. It's like, oh, that's what really, that's what I want people to stop doing. And that's why I'm trying to challenge that because we see drops and bad cricket in men's cricket every single game, pretty much. No one pays any attention to it. We saw Virat Kohli drop a sitter <laughs> the other day and it was sort of top of Twitter for about 10 minutes and then everyone forgets. Yeah, pretty much. And if a woman does it, it's brought up three years later. Like there's the video of Kate Cross not running someone out and everyone's like, oh my God, disgraceful. How are they being played? Equal pay. That's what I hate. I don't think any woman cricketer has ever asked for equal pay in our lives. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a man tweet about the women's team for about three or four years since the women's World Cup final in 2017. But the women always tweet about the men's game, which is, I'd like to see the men tweeting a little bit more support for the women's team. That would be great. Yeah. And so what other things do you think we can do to try and boost the women's game and the coverage around it and the... Um, the reputation that it has really because like you said social media people saying oh women have dropped catches but what else do you think we can do like we've got more coverage you can see that there's more going on about it but how do we keep going in the right direction from here um i mean all the games being on sky is also great i mean if people don't watch it people don't watch it it's not really much i don't think anything the players can do for that but i think it's mainly going to be what the ecb do to try and promote this game as something that's worth watching because from being a cricket fan myself I always watch the women's game and I don't think of it as being any worse than watching the men's game I mean we watched England in India I mean it cannot get much worse than that. <laughs> I also just wanted to ask you what are your hopes coming up next? For me it's just to play because I love playing I mean I don't want to put any pressure on myself when I play because I think if I'm thinking, oh, I want to play for England, I want to get in the 100, then I'm going to start playing worse because I think you start overthinking everything. I just, I really enjoyed playing for Central Sparks and I hope it continues. If I get a 100 call-up, then great. If I get an England call-up, I'll be amazed. But, you know, um, yeah, I just want to play because I love playing cricket and to finally be in a professional environment after 18 years of playing is is great. I've really enjoyed it so far.